The Perares project, that's an FP7 funded project, it's public uh, engagement with research and research engagement with a society. Uh, this was a four year project coming to the end of it now and it was looking at how we could uh, network science shops across Europe. Uh, science shops, uh, they, they are basically institutions or um, they are basically initiatives set up in institutions, um, either higher education institutions or otherwise, that respond to very specific research questions outside in the community. So that could be anything from a social science type of question to something that's actually in the physical sciences. So the word science here is used with a small s, it is across the sciences really. Um, Perares has been, uh, as I said, going for four years and in, within that pro uh, project we've had several outputs. Um, some toolkits, for example, we have a toolkit on evaluation, whether that's the evaluation of a large scale project like this, but also looking at how uh, this idea of a science shop, this uh, interaction or knowledge exchange between society and institution, how it can add value to the university, really important part of what we were trying to do. And, and so it's, it's very useful to CSOs and non-government organizations, but also to, to the institutions themselves, the research institutions, to show that there is added value to, to that type of work. One of the methodologies we use is this idea of debate. The, um, it was quite a large project because we were talking about 17 different countries, uh, 25 different institutions, and actually more by the end. There was a mentoring system of actually getting uh, science shops um, set up, how they would set up themselves, um, how they can get support. So there was a lot of mentoring in that. Uh, but there was also another methodology where we pick very specific societal issues uh, like domestic abuse, like the plight of Roma peoples across Europe, uh, and uh, emerging technologies like um, um, Emerging technologies like fracking, for example, which causes uh, all kinds of uh, societal friction. Uh, these were uh, areas, these were kind of topics that would we, we would reckon um, create research projects within the community. So we were trying to link communities across Europe and we use online debates to do that, what we call transnational debates, because some of them are very specific, but other questions raised there are quite uniform actually. Uh, it may be dependent on the locality, they may not be. So we actually have on our livingknowledge.org website um, some examples of those debates. Uh, but probably one of the most useful things, besides the idea, the, the template there for how to set up a science shop, how the university can respond to these societal challenges in the community, one very useful thing, one very useful output of our project has been a template for how uh, CSOs can actually influence research policy. Our objective was part of our objectives, and I think it was a very strong report there, and how that can happen. So it's not just about these science shops setting up themselves, but actually how they directly influence um, research policy. And there's actually some evidence of impact already there because in the Horizon 2020 calls, CSOs are mentioned across there and it has been a kind of an organic process of what we've done. So that's the Peraris project.